good morning guys and welcome back to another vlog today is monday it is june 19th it is almost nine o'clock in the morning i have a, only a couple minutes so i gotta go wake ezekiah up but i've been up since 5 30 this morning ezekiah thought that that was the perfect time to wake up this morning and we tried to resettle him a couple times but it was just he would go to sleep for a few minutes and then he would wake back up and it was just not really working so at about six uh, 15 is when he had his first bottle this morning. Um, so he's about to be due for another one at 9 15 and then he's been sleeping for about two hours. He ended up, um, eating his bottle and then he was so tired. He was falling asleep, just sitting there looking at me. So I went ahead and just put him back down and just let him sleep for a couple hours, but I cannot let him sleep past two hours because we're going to be sleeping too long during the day if I do that. So I need to I have no idea what that noise was that came through the baby monitor. I think the neighbors are doing something like between our house and their house and they're being really loud. But so far this morning, I knocked out my workout. Um, I did my workout after he went to sleep the first time. Um, and then I just knocked out some work. I'm gonna eat breakfast and now I'm gonna go wake him up and he's gonna have his next bottle in just a little bit. This morning he didn't finish his bottle because I think I think he just woke up hungry and wanted to go back to sleep. Um, which he hasn't done that in a very, very long time. And so I feel like maybe he needs to be eating a little bit more during the day. So maybe we'll try to give him a little bit more during the day today. But also yesterday we had a really just hard time because we had adjusted his like whole schedule so we could go to um like a late lunch early dinner for father's day but then the wait times where we were going to go were like an hour and a half and so we decided we were going to go next weekend instead and so his whole schedule was thrown off and then he woke up um from his last nap of the day like an hour earlier than he usually does so he had a very long wake window between his last nap and his nighttime sleep so it was definitely a hard like evening um so i don't know if that's affecting him as well like i don't even know um he's definitely been fussy for the past few days and i don't know if it's because maybe he's going through a growth spurt um, teething like i have no clue but it's been a bit of a struggle um but i'm gonna go grab him really quick i was right there's people down here working on their fence and they're drilling real loud he's so tired Papa's. hey he tried to get up. He scratched his face last night. Oh, he's so tired. I guess that drilling is waking you up. Let's get you out. Really? This is what they're doing right now? Oh, my tired boy. My very big boy. He like grew overnight, I'm telling you. Wow, that was a nice burp, thank you. He got so tall, I'm telling you guys, like, I woke up one morning and grabbed him and I was like, he's gigantic all of a sudden. I know you're so tired. You're so tired. I know. You're so, you're such a tired boys. Okay, I just got a Walmart package a little bit ago and it is a really big package. Um, I actually ordered a new stroller um because the one we have is like a stroller and infant seat and it, like a toddler seat and everything came all together and we used the toddler seat you can use it as a bassinet and we used it like that and then we used obviously his car seat this whole time um, but he's getting really freaking heavy like he's probably over 17 pounds by now um and he's just too heavy to carry around in that and so i'm about to switch him to his big boy car seat but the toddler seat on our stroller that we have now is just really big and bulky and it just like doesn't seem very comfortable for him. Don't mind him whining in the back. Um, it doesn't seem very comfortable for him. And so I was looking into more compact, lightweight strollers for like toddlers and like six months and up. So I found one at Walmart and it was like 99 something. So like a hundred bucks. Um, and there was a, t a million different stroller options, I tell you. There was literally so many different ones to choose from and I had no idea 
which one to pick um so i just like looked up a whole bunch of them and i didn't want to spend a bunch because obviously we already bought that set of stuff i did get that stuff at the thrift store our like original stroller and infant seat and car seat for like 100 bucks brand new uh so i saved a bunch of money which is great but we also spent quite a bit on his um big boy car seat so i didn't want to spend a whole ton so i found one for 100 and i want to put it together so let's put it together and see if it's good or not because it had really good reviews that was one thing i looked at a ton of was the reviews and this one had probably like the best reviews out of all of like the less expensive ones so let's see if it's good or if it sucks if it sucks i'm gonna return it this is the biggest poly mailer i've ever seen in my whole life <laughs> so short but that's like my problem um and then the only other thing that i don't like that i was wanting was i wanted one where the seat turns so you could face me but that wasn't like a must like i don't need that and so i think we're gonna keep this one uh, it has a little thing back here to like lock and unlock the wheels um and then it can actually recline and decline so like i have it all the way up now and then you can actually like make it go all the way in which is cool um my main complaint with my other stroller was like it's always in this like really reclined position and i did not like it so i think we're probably going to have it in this position mostly um these straps are all adjustable so when he gets like taller and then this goes out and then also has this little like extra canopy which is super cool and then it also has a little like peeking window and then the little footrest down here can go up. Y'all can't really see, but this can go up and down. So when he's a little bit bigger, he can hang his feet down. The storage basket is a little small, but I think it's a good size for like, I wanted a compact stroller. And one of the best parts is how compact it is um, when it's like folded up. So when it's folded up, it looks like this. And then this is a little like carrying strap. So that's cool. And then to actually undo it, you do this. And then I don't really know if you have to, like, I think you have to do that. So you have to kind of do it forcefully. Um, I think it'll be like easier as I like do it more because I literally just got it, but I think I like it. And it's so small and I feel like it rolls so well. I will try to link it um, down below. I don't think they have it on Amazon, so I'll try to link it probably on Walmart because that's where I got it. Um, but I think this is a winner. Now, if I use it for a while and I hate it, I'll let you guys know. But for now, I'm very pleased with with stroller. <laughs>
All right, I just filmed a clip. I talked forever. We got to move on. So I'm refilming it. But I opened up this package for you guys, and it is actually a package from whatnot um if you don't know what whatnot is just like this live selling platform where people like do live shows and they auction off stuff um and i am super late to the whatnot game like it's been a thing for a while now and everyone's been obsessed i just hopped on the train this week and i can see why everyone's obsessed um i have not hosted a show or even applied to be a seller because that gives me anxiety makes me very nervous i don't know you'll see me on that side of the things but I love to shop the baby and the kids shows and I have like I don't know I made like three or four more purchases after this one and so I have more stuff coming but I feel like I'm getting such a good deal on all this stuff that I can't pass it up and I'm trying to shop for like nine months 12 months 18 months so that he can grow into this stuff um because he's good for six months and then nine months he has a bit but he could use a couple more items and then um 12 month he's has a bit but he could use a few more and then 18 months he barely has anything so he definitely could use more so today i bought i think an 18 month outfit i don't even remember i'll show you guys when it gets here but the first purchase i made on whatnot was this little um bamboo pajama set i cut the tag off because i already filmed this but it was stupid um but it's by the brand um angel deer and it was brand new with the tag um and here's the brand if you guys are wondering i don't have anything by this brand but it is a brand that sells like bamboo stuff and if you have a baby the bamboo craze is all the thing right now and so i haven't really like had anything bamboo this is the first thing that i've gotten that has been bamboo um and it's i have to say it's really freaking soft and the big thing with the bamboo material is that it can fit them for longer so apparently bamboo goes more so they have like month like this is six to nine months but they more so go by weight because you can they can fit into them for a super long time so this is six to nine and typically i wouldn't be buying anything six to nine right now because he's kind of in that size right now well mainly six months but he is fitting in six to nine months and nine months right now um with like it's a tad big but i probably won't buy much more six to nine months but this i bought just because um i know it's bamboo and i know he can wear it for a super long time but I got a really good deal on this because it was brand new and I got it for like 10 bucks and then shipping I think it was like 15 or 16 dollars like that was the price um and I have found that I like to find the people selling stuff for like a dollar or like the people who are trying to like clear out inventory or like clear out this and people will sell it for super cheap so a couple purchases that I made today today or was that last night I don't know I stayed up to literally like 11 30 last night on whatnot because I was like just looking at all the shows I have found though people don't run as many baby boy clothes as they do girl clothes um I don't know why baby boy clothes are honestly super hard to find in like the aesthetic and like style that I like it's so hopefully he fits in this for a good while um it's so freaking soft and stretchy and I feel like it's gonna be so comfortable for him like this feels so much more comfortable than like just the regular sleepers and stuff I don't, I don't know um if you're wondering why my lighting looks freaking weird it's because I have my ring light over there on because it's pitch black outside because it's about to pour down rain actually I think it just started raining it did um and so it's literally so dark without my ring light and I figured that was a good supplement of lighting um it's not perfect but it's fine we have a very sad boy on our hands today um he I pretty positive he's teething um just because the only thing that keeps him content is chewing on his little bear teether which I have attached to me just in case he needs it um and then he like if you put him down he's not having it if you're not like moving swaying he's not having it and I would say this has probably been our worst day so far of like he, he won't let us put him down he just needs to be like moving constantly um and his first nap was only what like 40 minutes so it has just been a rough day so far. Probably gonna fall asleep in here and I don't know if I'm gonna try to transfer him out or just leave him. He hasn't slept or been in the carrier in a while. Um, he does, he loves the carrier, like he loves it, but it hurts my back. So I try not to put him in here like super often and save it for times like this where he's like really sad. I do wish I would have invested into a better carrier. Like this one was not cheap, but I do wish I invested into another carrier, but this was great before he was super heavy um and then i also have the moby wrap which was wonderful when he was a newborn i use that like every single day 
um and then when he got like super heavy i just stopped using that i could probably still use it at this point but i honestly like now that he's super heavy i don't really feel comfortable just using a wrap i feel like he's gonna fall um and it took me a while to get used to the wrap but once i figured it out i really liked it um and this one i would recommend for if you have a small baby that's not super heavy if you have a super heavy baby um and want to use it for like longer i would recommend a different one um i've gotten a couple recommendations from you guys but i don't know if i will actually like purchase a new one right now just because i'm probably not going to use it for like a whole long time um but next baby i'm definitely going to look into a different carrier anyways i'm going to get some stuff done and this little tired sad boy is going to take a nap Someone woke up much happier after his naps. Did you have good naps? He slept for an hour in the carrier, um, so that was a good nap. His first nap of the day was like 35 minutes or something like that, so it was really bad. So this made up for that nap, and then he'll have one more nap. But he is way happier, and he has this attached to his clothes now because he only wants to chew on that, and I'm sick of picking it up and trying to find it. <laughs> everywhere so is now attached to him because he won't keep it on his hands anymore he wants to hold it with both hands um but he is much much happier right see we're much much happier all right Ezekiah is over here I am about to feed him his bottle but I'm kind of waiting on some bubbles to go away but I got an Amazon package while he was sleeping on me and I couldn't go and grab it so I thought I would open it and show you guys what I got um it's all for Ezekiah so that's fun. Uh, I feel like I don't buy anything for myself anymore. It's all for him, but that's okay. I enjoy buying stuff for him. I feel like there's not that much stuff in here and they shipped it in this really bad box, but hey, that's not my business. They can do whatever they want. First thing in here is, ooh, yes, I needed these, um, is, well, as a guy, I needed these, I should say. These are muslin hooded towels. He has already outgrown well he's not like quite outgrown but he's like this close to outgrowing his like baby towels that i bought him and looking back i should have never bought baby towels um so these are more for like toddlers so um hopefully <laughs> these work better my original towels that i bought were from target they were like the just one new brand and they were super cute and went with like his whole like gray and white theme but i definitely would not do that again because he's like basically too big for them already so i did not measure them and see how much bigger these were than those but um hopefully they're much bigger because oh yeah oh my god they're so much bigger okay um this is like the muslin material that is our burp cloth so these are our burp cloths this one's very dirty um so <laughs> don't mind that but um, I love this muslin material. These burp cloths are actually by the same brand, Comfy Cubs, on Amazon. I will have this all linked in my Amazon favorites if you're interested. But um, I wanted a hooded towel because one, he is so cute in hooded towels, and then two, this muslin material is so absorbent. Like on our burp cloths, my favorite thing ever. And I bought like twenty, I think like twenty or like sixteen or something burp cloths, and we use them every single day for like a million things so when i was looking for towels i was like i'm gonna get the same exact material because it's super soft super absorbent and they are like gigantic so that he won't grow out of them in like five seconds like the other ones so if you are expecting a baby i would highly recommend you buy bigger towels and use those just off the bat because the smaller ones not worth it unless you have a really small baby then they're probably worth it then the next few things are actually um bath related as well so i basically just got a bunch of stuff for his bath um we have been using since he was a newborn an aquifer 
hair and body wash or like I think that's what it's called um, in a gigantic container and then I was using a Shea Moisture um, lotion just because he has darker skin and I wanted to get him something like that was more geared towards darker skin um, and it's been okay but it really hasn't been great he does have a bit of like eczema on his belly and he just has really dry skin in general and his face is super super dry myself and my husband both have dry skin so I'm assuming he got it from both of us but I was looking into like different brands that are really good for them and really hydrating and I came across this brand called I, I want to pronounce it Mustela Mustela I don't know um but it looks like this and I've heard such great things about this brand and so I decided to go ahead and try it out um I got the line that is for um dry skin so this is the nourishing lotion with cold cream so I got the lotion and then I also got the nourishing cleansing gel with cold cream um and this is just a uh, hair and body wash stuff wash I guess and then I also got um this is a nourishing cream with cold cream for his face um, this is probably the most important thing because we've been putting aquifer on his face it's just not doing it and so this is really small and it was not cheap it was definitely like you have to pay for these products um but you don't really use a ton on his face so hopefully it lasts us a little bit um these are actually a little bit bigger than i thought they were going to be so these should last us a little bit and we're only going to use this on his body because we've been actually using a um excuse me sir he's trying to eat this blanket um we have been using um what is it called Frida baby it's like a duo for cradle cap he had cradle cap not like super terrible but he did have cradle cap when he was a newborn and so we've just been using that on his hair since he basically came home from the hospital um I kind of wanted to use it all up before we switched over but I'm not sure if we should just switch to this it seems to be doing just fine for his head his head's not super dry and there's no cradle cap anymore. I don't know how long they usually have it, but I'm just gonna keep using that because I have it. Um, that will also be linked in my Amazon favorites along with all of our other newborn essentials. But um, I'm super excited to try these out. I will try to um, keep you guys updated and let you know if they are good. What? Are you drooling everywhere? Friday. It's 9 35 in the morning and I am just hanging out over here getting some work done. So if I'm not looking at you, because I'm looking at my laptop, trying to get stuff on done while Ezekiah is sleeping. He went down at nine o'clock um this morning and he woke up at like 6 45 ish. So I did manage to get my workout done. Um and I kind of just got done and just fed the dogs before he woke up and then I made his bottle. Let the dogs out and then I went and grabbed him at like 6.55 ish and then he had his bottle at 7. He only drank half of his bottle which is so not like him. So um, I'm pretty sure he's teething pretty bad today. Last night was rough. Not like overnight but like before bed night was really really rough. He did not want to be put down. He didn't want to play with anything. All he wanted to do was be attached to me and so I basically just carried him on with the carrier for like the whole evening. Um, and then this morning I also had to have him in the carrier because that's all he wanted to do. So it's been a bit of a rough time. Um, I'm hoping he gets a tooth sometime. I know they can teeth for a really long time before they even get a tooth. So I'm hoping he doesn't teeth for like 
so long before he gets any teeth and he's just so uncomfortable for so long he does have a couple spots on his gums where like it looks like a tooth is literally about to come through but it's been like that for like a few weeks and so i don't even know like when is the tooth gonna be here or is it teeth i don't even know it, i don't even know what i'm doing but i was coming on right now because i just finished my whatnot application i know i told you guys i wasn't sure if i was going to want to sell on there but now that I have been watching like live streams every single night and spending way too much money, like literally someone take away my phone because it is so dangerous, I have decided to do the application and sell on whatnot. Um, I will say I don't think I want to sell um, like men's and women's clothing and shoes. I think I want to focus on baby and kids. Um, and that does kind of add in an extra layer into my like just life in general it's basically another job because I am doing it as a way to make money um so I'm not sure if it will work out in the end but I want to try because I really have been enjoying like being in those live streams and like participating in like speak talking to everyone and everyone is like super nice and I feel like I've gotten a really good handle on what selling and what people want like I <laughs> figured it out so I think it will not be easy because I think people that do really well in there have a pretty big following and I have a pretty big following but it's about women's and men's reselling I finished my application this morning and I had to like upload my ID it takes a background check you have to like do videos and pictures of inventory like it is a pretty extensive um, application process which I was surprised um, based on some of the people I've been watching on whatnot I was surprised that that was their application process but nonetheless I put everything in there and now it says it could be up to two weeks before I get any or like I hear anything live selling is so out of my comfortability zone but I think it's something I need to do because one I think it could go very very well I think I could meet a lot of new people I think it could be very successful I think a lot of people are very successful over there um and I think that I just like need to step out of my comfort zone and just try something new and I think that is what I need to do so that's my plan I'm <laughs> so freaking nervous you don't even understand like I am freaking out just a little bit inside um, and I feel like I have a lot of anxiety about it but um, I just need to remember like it's just like talking to y'all but live and making YouTube videos is like so easy for me and like it is it just comes naturally for me maybe not at the beginning but now it really does um, and so I need to just keep in mind that it's the same exact thing it's just live <laughs> which is so scary but I think I'll be I'll be okay. That is my plan. I don't know why I needed to talk so long about it, but I'm excited. And if you guys want to follow along and see what I'm doing over there, definitely go follow me. Um, and we'll see if my application gets approved. But if it does, you'll be the first to know if there's a show because I will put it on there and have it set for the future so you can bookmark it if you're interested. But that's what's happening. Um, and yeah, I'm going to get some work done before Zakaya wakes up. And I don't really know what's happening today, but we'll see. It's been literally 30 minutes since I last spoke to you guys. My one application already got approved. So I'm so excited uh, for my first show. I need to schedule an onboarding and then I will be able to um, actually officially do a show. But if you guys want to go ahead and follow me and I might have a show bookmarked by the time that this or not bookmarked. I'm sorry. Um, a show that's already like scheduled by the time this video goes up because this is going up Monday and today's Friday so I might have already done my onboarding so if you guys want to go follow me and bookmark if I have a show up um, and hang out with me that's great it will be kids so I want to let you guys know now it will be all kids stuff um, so you can just come and hang out if you don't plan on buying anything but I will be running kids stuff if you guys are interested so that's what's going on and yeah I'm super excited and I hope you guys come join my little live sales. I'm nervous, excited, all of the above, um, but I am gonna go schedule my onboarding now. I just woke up about 30, 45 minutes ago. It is 7.15, um, it is Saturday. Um, I meant to come back yesterday and end off the vlog, but I 
forgot. Um, there was just a lot going on yesterday after I got approved for whatnot. I ended up scheduling my onboarding for that day, like two hours later. So I got that done. I got my live access officially and um, I started prepping all the stuff and putting it actually in my store on whatnot um, and like getting prepped for my sale. I may, might do it next Wednesday. That's what I have it at for now. Like that you can go bookmark like it's already there but I don't know if I'm gonna keep it that way I may switch it to Thursdays because I feel like Thursdays might be a little bit better because I don't have anything going on on Thursdays um but I haven't really decided yet I also need to change up my like thumbnail thing because I don't like it anymore um but I was just spending all day yesterday prepping that for whatnot and um Ezekiah was pretty fussy also I had like reselling work to get done there was just like a ton of things so I didn't ever come back but I wanted to just come and end the vlog off now because I'm about to edit it but I am going to actually start filming a day in the life today we have so many things to do today so I figured a day in the life would be perfect to film today so we're gonna do that but I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog if you did please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit that bell notification to be notified every time I post a brand new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again in my next video.